it's DC, and welcome to Cadella. It's Wednesday, so that means it's time for a Make Them Mainstream segment, where I talk to you about an incredible woman who has done incredible things for the STEM fields. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math, and there are quite a low number of females in these fields, but that doesn't mean that there aren't awesome females who have done great things. In this segment, I try to teach you guys just a little bit about those females because we should have learned about them in school and they should be household names. I get most of my inspiration and information from this book called Women in Science, 50 Fearless Pioneers Who Changed the World. As always, the link to this book is in the description and the links to all the photos and the information I get outside of this book are in the description as well. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Dorothy Hodgkin. She's a biochemist and an x-ray crystallographer. She was born in Egypt, but she grew up and studied in England while her parents were archaeologists in Sudan. Dorothy won a Nobel Prize in Chemistry and the Order of Merit. Somerville College gave her a fellowship for research, and she became Somerville's first fellow and tutor in chemistry, and she tutored important people like Margaret Thatcher. She discovered the structure of penicillin, vitamin B12, and insulin. She also invented techniques to use x-ray crystallography to map complex molecules. And just so you know, x-ray crystallography is super important in gaining knowledge about the three-dimensional structures of biomolecules. Now, I'm not a chemist, so I also don't really know what that means, but it sounds pretty dumb. Because her parents were archaeologists, she got a lot of early hands-on experience. And at age 13, she was already discovering things. Dorothy was nicknamed the cleverest woman in England, and also the gentle genius. And I think she was given this nickname because she actually cared. Not only did she discover the structure of insulin, which is an important medication for diabetics, but she spoke about the importance of diabetes awareness. And she was also campaigning about world peace until the day she died. Dorothy was an impressive person, and she impressed a lot of people with her work on mapping the structure of cholesterol. She ended up becoming the go-to person to map complex molecules. Because she was able to discover the structure of so many important medications and vitamins, she was able to help save a lot of people's lives. I hope you guys enjoyed this brief history lesson about Dorothy Hodgkin. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and share it amongst your friends. Let's make Dorothy and all these other women that I talk about in this segment a household name. These women have done incredible things for the STEM fields, and they should be recognized more than they already are. This segment comes out every Wednesday, so subscribe to my channel so you stay informed. And as always, my beautiful friends, stay wild, moon child, and make them mainstream.